Hey everybody, this is Tim from Big Willie Bass and coming at you Sunday, April 14th. Hope you guys had a wonderful day. It was a beautiful day here uh, in Newburgh, uh, very sunny. Saw lots of boats heading out and uh, a lot of people enjoying the day. It was my first day off after a long week of work. Uh, I am going to do a quick review with you guys. Um, I do believe I mentioned a while back I purchased a Kistler rod the helium series and i'm gonna do a quick review on it so here's the kistler rod you can see it and it's the helium series i even had it customized with the smallmouth bass put on it i thought that was pretty cool cool little touch um this is a customized rod that i had made um if you go to kistler website there is uh, a sale uh, that they're having right now. They've got some things marked down and discounts. Um, I was turned on to these rods a long time ago. A friend of mine mentioned it to me, and, and I finally was able to get around to saving some money to buying myself a really nice customized rod. And this is a medium light seven foot. So... I really take this very closely related to my other rod that I have that's very similar to it. Um, has nice light, that light action. You can feel everything uh, and you lay into it. You really know for, I mean, you look at the rear butt stock. It's got that nice little gap right there. And of course it's got, uh, let me get this right. I'm trying not to bump into too many... Uh, too many times in the ceiling in the garage. But uh, I had this one customized with uh, former Tim's Sporting Channel, now Big Willie Bass and combined. So it's my own little personal rod. I really like it. I'm using it right now as a Texas rig. And uh, I've got the combination with the Cast King that I just purchased not too long ago. Uh, the Versus, got that nice little blue mix with the blue that's on the rod itself, okay? And it's a one-piece, and like I said, it's it's a really sensitive rod, uh, medium light. Um, it goes up to about, I believe, 10-pound test, which is fine with me. Uh, if I Texas rig it or however I want to uh, rig it for the day, it's, it's actually done really well. Um, in fact, I believe I caught the, the, the 16 incher last weekend with this one. I really, I really liked it. I gave it a very little, uh, setting of the hook and it, the backbone on it was solid. So I'm going to compare it as close as I can to one of the rods that I purchased at a, um, of course the price is going to be different. But it's very closely related, and it's a Tika rod. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of them. Uh, they are, they've been around for a long time. And as you can see, it'll say Tika Graphite. Graphite, it's a lightweight. Uh, basically same size. Uh, it takes a little bit heavier line. And, of course, I have it topped off with the Lose. You see the lose rod and let me, I'm sorry, lose reel. And I'm trying not to get my camera on my kayak or the ceiling. So bear with me. And there is the lose. Okay. I have it with a top water bait right now uh, that I'm using. So they're both seven foots. This is a medium. The other one's a medium light. I do like the sensitivity of this one, but I also like the firmness of this one. This is this is sensitive and this is firm. This is a little bit more flexible. You can see the wiggle of it. They're both seven footers. Guides on the Tikas are a little bit bigger. Obviously the, the Kistler is a custom homemade rod that's over $200. Um, and I, I'm a firm believer if you want to get yourself one good rod, really expensive rod, by all means, if you can afford it, get you one. I'm going to recommend Kistler because I do have him on my Instagram and I follow him on Facebook. 
uh, very much a home oriented family type business. Um, I was very pleased on how quickly they were able to send my rod out. Uh, very pleased with the uh, the fish put on it and the time it took to do all the intricate things to customize it ex exactly for my uh, needs. And I think for the most part, um, it wasn't really too badly priced. I know it's really easy to get into the higher priced rods. Um, they all do the same thing. I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, it, it's just all about your feel and all about um, the setup you have, the reel, the line, what lures you're planning on using. A lot of times you see guys on YouTube talk about, you know, a certain rod for a certain bait. Well, that can be uh, truthful at some times during the fishing if you're using certain things because of the weight of the bait, the action that you want, and the casting ability too because you should be able to cast fairly smoothly with whatever it is, with whatever rod. So I think a lot of times just if you can afford it, get you at least one customized rod, at least one customized rod. Experiment with your reels. Find out what reel really works for you. Uh, there's a bunch of suggestions for different types of reels out there. I like Lose. Um, I think Lose is pretty solid. I've got a higher end reel that I bought uh, used from a friend. I don't use it much because I really don't like the um, gear ratio on it. I don't like the feel of it. I'm just too used to the Lose. They're very smooth to me. Um, I have two of them that are uh, a little bit more in price than the normal, you know, one that you can buy and that's affordable around 50 bucks. I have a couple of them that are over a couple of hundred bucks and they work really well. I think get what works for you. Get out there, fish, practice, experiment, find out you want to stick with seven footers. You want to, I have one that's a seven five that I don't use much of. Yeah. I'm in a kayak. Yeah. Setting the hook. It's a long, it's a, I got to set it hard. Um, in a boat, I have more leverage. I can actually stand there and whip it back. But in an actual uh, kayak, it's hard for me to do that. So um, I try my best to, um, I try my best to just be optimistic about a lot of the rods that I have. I have quite a few rods, but I mean, you can never have enough rods de depending on the, the area you're going fishing the conditions, if it's a lot of weeds, you need something that's got backbone. I've got uh, I've got uh, uh, a couple other rods that are really hardcore that if I need to rip it through some lily pads or weeds or heavy, heavy grass, I can rip through it. Um, these here are more finesse fishing and, you know, I can do Texas rig, a little bit of top water. And for the most part, I mean, it's just, they're sensitive and I like sensitive rods you can really lay into a sensitive rod and uh, get into the fish. So anyways, I know it's kind of a little bit of a rough a, a rough comparison, but uh, I do say, I, I will say, you know, the Tika, you can get them for a pretty good price. Um, I paid, I bought two of them for a hundred bucks a pop at a sportsman show a few years ago. I've had the rod literally for, I want to say six years and it's been solid. Um, it's been a solid rod for me. It was affordable at the time. You know, um, there's, like I said, I have other rods that I really don't use much of. And some of them I just kind of have as backups. These here are going to get a lot of fish work this year, uh, this season. And I plan on and really use them a lot. And I plan on getting as much use as I can out of them. And I might even upgrade a couple of reels again. You can never have enough reels, backup reels, and backup rods. So um, that's my quick review. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you liked it. Uh, if you could take away something from it, just get out there, get you one really cool customized rod that's yours. Got It's set up the way you want it. Uh, get you a reel that works really well with it. And by all means, you know, experiment sometimes going out there and and seeing what other people have helps a little bit. Looking at videos help here on helps a lot of here on YouTube, and also just being um, being aware of what's out there and what's affordable. Because a lot of fishing stuff, just like everything else, is inflation right now. Uh, a lot of fishing stuff is expensive, and it's getting more expensive. So you know, get out there and buy what you can afford. Start with that for bass fishing. 
and then work your way up. Uh, it took me a little while, but now I have a pretty good selection. You probably see right here, <laughs> that's all tackle, and that's all other tackle too, and tackle right here. <laughs> so, um, and these are my collection of, of vintage reels that I've collected over the years with lures, bass lures. So, uh, again, just enjoy yourself. Get out there and fish. And I hope, uh, hey, you hope you catch a PB. It looks like people are doing it right now at different places uh, here locally. And they're out there catching fish and uh, wish them the best. And I hope everybody's having a great day. So from Tim, Big Willie Bass. And I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review. And uh, tight lines, everybody. <laughs>